everyone. Today we will be looking at Windows Whistler. If you don't know, Windows Whistler is the name of Windows XP. So let's get right into the news. This is Windows Whistler setup. It is very similar to Windows XP setup. This is Windows Whistler's boot screen. There's not much to see here. Let's move on. One interesting thing is that Windows Whistler's boot screen fades out when it's done. Windows XP doesn't do that. Again, this isn't interesting. Let's move on. After a long time, something finally happened and it's really slow. Told you. So anyway, I was greeted by a magic wizard named Merlin who didn't help me through setup because I didn't need help. I have nearly finished. All I have to do is type in my name. Yes, I finally finished setup. This is Windows Whistler's login screen. To be honest, I like this more than Windows XP's final login screen. But anyway, you're probably wondering why it says Whistler 2419 in the top left corner. That's the computer name. I chose it at setup because I didn't know what else to call it. Hooray! We're finally at the desktop. Let's look at some of the programs. I thought this was the getting started up Windows was meant to be in setup, but it's not. Let's check it out anyway. No matter where you are working, your computer will be easier to use and easier to manage because Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional is more compatible well, and more powerful than boring. any workstation Let's you've used on. before. Let's see if there's any other themes. Oh boy, there is. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. I love it. Why can't my computer look like this? Anyway, enough whining. Let's look at some desktops. Let's choose the desktop we had in Windows 2000. I think I like the watercolor theme better than the sample test theme. Anyway, let's look at the most boring, I mean most exciting feature. Product activation. Um. I guess I should activate this. Okay. Something's not right here. I swear it's not as easy as this. Let's see if there's a new version of Windows Movie Maker yet. Nope. It's still the same as Windows MB's version. We also have the Remote Desktop Connection app. I wonder if I can connect to my PC.
Well, it was worth a try. I think I found the discover windows through I was telling you about earlier. What the hell did I just watch? Anyway, I think I've had enough of prototype operating systems for now. See you later. I don't think you're ever going to believe this, but I had to travel through time to get this to work.